There's more promising news in the race for a coronavirus vaccine. The most recent testing shows AstraZeneca's vaccine developed at, a, at Oxford University is safe and highly effective on older adults. It's now the third vaccine showing promise recently. CBS News foreign correspondent Charlie Daggett has the details. It's peer-reviewed confirmation. The vaccine produces a robust immune response in those who need protection most, especially those in their 60s and 70s. Chief Scientist Andrew Pollard. Well, I think the thing that's really uh, we're delighted by is to see that we're seeing the same immune responses in older adults as we have in younger adults. And I, I don't think we really predicted that in advance because a lot of vaccines in older adults actually perform rather less well. Even more encouraging, older age groups tolerated the vaccine better than younger volunteers, too. Moderna and Pfizer's vaccines have already reported positive interim data from phase three trials, but their success has been a boost for Oxford's candidate too. They use a similar approach, focusing on the part of the coronavirus that attaches to human cells, the spike protein. Moderna and Pfizer's vaccines inject messenger RNA that instructs cells to make harmless versions of the protein. The Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine uses a weakened common cold virus to deliver those genetic blueprints. But the goal is the same, to trick the body into mounting an immune response that will remember the coronavirus should it ever attack. Producing an immune response is one thing, but when it comes to stopping the transmission of the virus, Oxford's clinical trials may have an edge. The Oxford study has been swabbing every single participant on a regular basis, possibly a weekly basis, right? So what will that tell us in terms of transmission? That will help us understand whether the vaccine is able to prevent acquisition of the virus um, into the nose um, of our participants, which could then uh, imply an, uh, the potential for interruption of transmission. If we could also interrupt transmission, then we may get to a point where enough people are vaccinated that the virus is stopped in its tracks. In the long run, the Oxford vaccine may be easier to roll out than the others because it doesn't need to be stored at deep freeze temperatures. Researchers here say there's no rush, and it may be that the vaccines roll out around the same time. For now, they're hoping to report the results of their phase three trials in the coming weeks. Charlie Daggett, CBS News. Oxford, England.